name's Simon Nelson. I play the guitar and I design the 10 week worship leader guitar course. I've been playing the guitar for over 30 years, I think now I've kind of lost track of time. I was self-taught on the guitar for a lot of years and then I thought that I ought to know something about music, so uh, I did an A-level in music. I kind of enjoyed studying, I found, so I went on to do a degree in music at Goldsmiths College. And I went okay, so I did a Masters uh, at City University and that led on to a PhD in music at City University. I played with a few uh, quite well-known people, Josh Stone, Beverly Knight, Miss Dynamite, different people like that. I've recently been playing with Paul Jones from the Blues Band and recorded on an album with Helen Shapiro, a legendary 60s singer. Um, I've also played at the O2, the Albert Hall and done a, an arena tour with the, with the band as well. The 10-week worship leader course started at Holy Trinity Brompton when uh, one of the main worship leaders there, a chap called Andy Pearcy, suggested we start a guitar course. People who start on the beginner's course quite often uh, they think there's some mystery involved in music and, and they don't have any talent and they're never going to be able to do anything but uh, the guitar is quite a friendly instrument and, and practically anybody can, can get started on the guitar and, and make some music and play some songs. The hardest thing for beginners is, is to get these left hand fingers moving. When I first started playing the guitar, I thought you just kind of put your fingers sort of randomly somewhere. And I thought, that's not working, there's a bit, bit more to it than this. So normally you put your fingers in some kind of shape, which we call a chord shape, that makes a nice harmonious kind of sound. So the, the hard part at the beginning is to get this left hand to, to make these kind of shapes and to get your fingers moving. I often say it takes six weeks to get your, to get your fingers moving, to get some strength and independence into your left hand fingers. Um, and then you make this sort of harmonious sound. In order to make that work, we then need to look at, at the right hand, and in order to play rhythms, we use some combination of down strokes and up strokes to make a kind of nice sound. Again, some people find this, this combination of up and downs kind of different, uh, difficult at first, and we need to work on that a little bit to work on the way that rhythm works on the guitar. And then we can bring the two hands together to play stuff. <laughs> Once you've kind of worked on, on this stuff, you, you can begin to play songs, so you can string some chords together, you can play a rhythm, and then you can try and sing the song on top of it as well. That adds a new dimension then, because you've got to think about the singing, you've got to think about the words. If you start to lead worship, you've got to think about leading people as well. So we deal with the guitar part first of all, and then people can begin to think about adding the voice on top of that as well. It's always quite a good idea because rhythm is physical as well. You might want to tap your foot as well and, and get completely involved in the whole rhythmic side of playing the guitar.